Hey guys, this is part one of the sample questions on the Aki Placer College Board test for the arithmetic section. Parts two through four will be linked below, which contain the other questions. Here's number one, and it is which of the following fractions is equal to 0 0.06? This one is fairly simple, but I'm going to solve it the long way for anyone that needs it. So this is the first step. You're going to do this. You know that six cannot go into one. So we're gonna put a decimal here. We put a zero there. We extend this line up top. Now we know that six can go into 10 once. I'm gonna put a decimal there. You can put a zero here if you want. So now we're gonna do one times six is six. We subtract that, we get four. We're gonna continue. We add another zero here, we bring that zero down, we get 40. How many times can 6 go into 40? We know that's going to be 6. Now 6 times 6 is 36. We're going to subtract, we get another 4. We can keep on going and eventually you're going to see that we're going to keep on getting 6 repeating. So to write this, we're going to put 0 0.1666 6 repeating. That's what this answer is right here in decimal form. Now, now, B is the same setup, but it's 1 over 60, so we added a decimal here. And all this does is put a 0 and then the 1, 6, 6 repeating. So this 0 right here just adds another 0 right here. If we had this, the answer in decimal form would be 0 0.00166 repeating. We're just adding two zeros because there are two zeros here. We don't have that as an answer, so I'm going to erase it, but that's if we had that. So now we know what A and B are. I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to solve for C. We have this. We know that 10 cannot go into 6, so we have to put our... 0 uh, um, extend our line put our placeholder up there and 10 can go into 60 how many times 6 6 times 10 is 60 we subtract we get 0 we can keep on going but we're just gonna have 0 the whole time so this answer is equal to 0 0.6 or some people may say 0 0.60 same thing now this number in decimal form is going to be 0 0.006, sorry, 0 0.06. And that is because we have another zero added. The first zero just makes it set up like this. Adding a second zero makes it set up like this. I'm going to erase that. And if we had this number, the answer would be 0 0.006. Now we have three. So we added a third one. So we're going to add another zero there. We don't need that because that is not what we're given as an answer choice. So now looking at this, what is equal to this number right here? We can cross out A, we can cross out B, we can cross out C, and D would be our answer. So we're working with number two. It says, a club has 36 members. If each member donates 12 items for an auction, how many items will there be in the auction? So writing everything down, the club has 36 members. That's our first piece of information. The second piece of information says, if each member donates 12 items, so 12 items per member is donated how many items will there be in the auction so this is asking for the total how many items will there be in the auction so we have 36 members there's 12 members there's 12 items per member we're going to do this multiplication that's going to be our answer if you need help solving this you can continue watching the video I will solve it. 
6 times 2, 12. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 1 times 6 is, sorry, yes, 1 times 6 is 6, and 1 times 3 is 3. 2, 13, 4. 432 is our answer. Number 3. It says, what is the value of 4 over 10 plus 3 over 100? In my video for number 1, I explained how to solve for this by long division. So go ahead and watch that video. Um, I'm going to do it the short way on this video. So we have 4 over 10 and 3 over 100. Basically, this answer is going to be 0 0.4. And that is because the 4 is in the tens place. And this is 4 over 10. For, number th for 3 over 100, it's going to be 0 0.03. And the 3 is going to be in the hundreds place in the hundreds place because it's 3 over 100. So this is the tens place. This is the hundreds place, and that's that. So when we add 0 0.4 plus 0 0.03, we can put a 0 here as a place filler and just add 0 plus 3 is 3, 4 plus 0 is 4, 0 plus 0 is 0. We're going to bring down the decimal. When you're adding, you have to make sure to line up the decimals. If we were to line up this problem like this and put a zero there or something the answer would be wrong because we would get this and that is answer well it's not here but that looks similar to these two this answer is actually 7 over 100 which they don't have but we can't line up the numbers we have to line up the decimal places so that answer right here would be wrong so since this is the correct one we're going to be looking up here and 0 0.43 right here that in its fraction form is 43 over 100 and it's over 100 because this is the tens place this is the hundreds place so this number goes up to the hundreds place so our answer would be something that is 43 over 100, which is option A. Number four says, a conference planner has put together 280 binders for attendees and another 31 binders for presenters. How many total binders did the planner put together for the attendees and the presenters? So if you read this again, you can determine that we would have to be using addition. We're going to be adding the 280 binders for the attendees, and we're going to be adding the 31 binders for the presenters. Remember, when we're adding numbers, there are no decimals or anything, we can line up the whole numbers together. So 0 plus 1 would be 1. 8 plus 3 would be 11, and 1 plus 2 would be 3. So we have 300, sorry, we have two, 311 total binders, which would be option C. Number 5 says, a store stocked 150 cans of popcorn for a weekend sale. That weekend, 72 of the cans were sold. What percentage of the cans of popcorn stocked were sold that weekend? So the total amount of cans they had were 150. The ones that were sold were 72. So basically we're going to divide to solve the percentage of cans of popcorn that were stocked. With that, you have to know that it's going to be the total on the denominator and sold as the numerator. The total is the denominator because whenever we have a fraction like this, the total would be on the bottom. It wouldn't make sense if we had the total on top. So anything that is on the top, that is going to go in the box. This one's going to go outside 
of the box. And by the box, I mean this. So we have 72 and 150. So can 150 go into 72? No. We have to add a decimal and a zero there. Now, can 150 go into 720? Yes. Do we know the number off the top of our heads? Probably not. So on the side, we're going to do short division. Let's probably do 3. 0 times 3, 0. 5 times 3, 15. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. 450. We can probably go higher. Let's go to 4. 0 times 4, 0. 5 times 4, 20. 4 times 1, 4. Plus 2 is 6. Let's see if we can go a little bit higher. So basically, if you follow, I'm going to increase these numbers right here to see if I can get a number that is close to 720. So 0 times 5 is 0. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 6. 750. 750 is too big. So 600 would be good for us. So 150 can go into 720 four times. We can bring our decimal there and put our zero there. <clears throat> so now 720 minus 600, 0, 2, 1. So our answer is 120. Now, can 150 go into 120? No, it's too small. So we're going to have to add another zero right here and bring that zero down. I'm going to scoot this over because it's getting a little crowded. So can 150 go into 1200? Most definitely. So we just have to figure out what number that can be. Let's jump all the way to 8. 0 times 8 is 0. 5 times 8 is 40. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 4, 12. Perfect. So 8 would be right here. So 150 can go into 1,200 eight times. We get remainder zero, so we're done. This is our answer, but we want it as a percentage. So how do we make this answer into a percentage? Let's move our work up to here. Basically, we're going to do this times 100. When we do that, this decimal place moves over to the right two times, which basically just makes this 48%. So 48% is our final answer. You can do this um, multiplication on your own if you'd like, but the answer is 48%, which is option C.